Hey there, Sign Up Virgo. This is Kim here to do a reading. It's going to be um, for 2022. We're going to pull some Oracle cards and maybe some tarot cards too. See what comes up for you for the year. So, 2022, starting with um, a message from Gaia. So, let's start with a message from Gaia for our signs. A Virgo. I hope you guys are doing really well. Virgos. Sweet Virgos. Um, calling their spirit guides, their angels, higher self. Let's get messages that um, resonate with Virgo. 32. Relationship to Gaia. Humanity's relationship to Gaia is changing. Slowly, humans are returning to an ancient system that honors Mother Nature. Understand your relationship to Gaia is powerful. It can even extend your lifespan. 16. Gaia is a partner. This planet is changing, and the indigenous were right. They lifted the dirt in their hands and said, This is life. The consciousness of Gaia is aligned with your own consciousness. That's why it feels so good to be simply in nature. All right. What do we need to surrender and leave in 2021 for 2022 for the sign of Virgo? Virgo. Ooh. Ooh. And literally, there's your message again. Gaia is really speaking to you, Virgo. Surrender to the beauty of the natural world. Taking a break, relaxing break, let me add. Take a relaxing break and spend time in nature. Replenish yourself by feeling the beauty and the ecstasy there. Replenish yourself by feeling the beauty and the ecstasy there. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so what else? Let's pull from um, the spellcasting deck. And then we're going to pull some tarot to see what tarot wants to come out. <laughs> tarot want to come out for Virgo. Oh, nice. Commitment. Mm-mm-mm. Commitment. Hierophant energy. Commitment to yourself, commitment to Gaia, commitment to living better, commitment to benevolent change. Ooh, commitment to this good luck and trusting this process. Trusting this process. And an animal is wanting to reach out to you. That is pretty evident. There's an animal that's wanting to reach out to you. Um, whether you work with animals or this might be like a calling with animals, it may have something to do with that. Commitment, and it maybe has to do with animals here. I like this good luck being up here with this nature because it looks... They kind of look similar, don't they? Let's see. So there's commitment here. Virgo, Virgo. What kind of commitment do we have in 2022? Tarot, what messages do you have for the sign of Virgo? For Virgo. messages for Virgo, please. Tarot from the Light Sears Tarot. I have releasing. Releasing any energy that had you clinging to the past, okay? So anything that you felt like you were just grasping to. Even, okay, especially that feeling of well, I mean, it, it comes with reminiscing and feeling like, oh, if I could just get it back to this, that feeling is gone. There is a revelation and um, there, there's something about reflecting back on memories and thinking, 
and realizing that things were not as rosy as we had painted it to be. So no more clinging to the past. Five of Wands is like, I'm ready to fight for what I want. I mean, it truly is. Um, <clears throat> we're not having, we're not, not dealing with comparison because I think this is a year to reflect on how wonderful you are, how magical you are, and how each of us are just so different and uniquely talented and skilled. There is no comparison to you. There is no comparison. Seven of Swords energy has somebody looking like they're sneaking around. So, look, I'm taking this in a good way. I'm actually taking this as somebody that's deciding, hey, we don't want to accept a cup that, okay, so, like, this is how I'm seeing this picture, okay? We're not clinging to the past anymore, Virgo. And there's no more comparison or fighting, um... Uh, against ourselves. It's all going to be for ourselves, for our unique self. Anybody that tries to deceive us or to, you know, tap around, to walk around, lying, cheating, stealing, we're not going to accept their offer. In 2022, we're going to see it for what it is. If somebody's, and it might be a Pisces, it, it might not be though, it just depends on you know, your situation. You have Aquarius, Leo, and um, Scorpio, and Pisces here, but these energies right here is saying that somebody did not, their actions did not match their words, and if the actions don't match the words here in 2022, you're going to be able to spot whether somebody's really committed or not to you, or whether something that you're committed to is actually working out. And that's how we're able to let go of the past deceptive energy. I don't think this is going to affect us much anymore. So be careful if you want to try to sneak around Virgo. Because it's not going to work. It's not going to work in 2022. We have the Nine of Pentacles here. This is like financial windfall. It's independence. And there's the star. Don't give up. The Nine of Wands here too. So don't give up on your dreams. There's renewed hope here for you. There's financial windfall. Um, there's good luck. Things coming in. And it has to do with self-reliance. And I will mention entrepreneurship. Anything that comes by with an offer for you that's not genuine, that you don't see it as genuine, you're not going to accept. And there's this uh, Aquarius card of renewed hope. It's also coming across to me with the message of, you know what you're worth. You know that you deserve more out of something. And that's exactly what you're going to get your, for yourself is more out of something. You may have a business where you dry herbs or something like that too. I mean, there may be something to do with that also. Okay, beautiful messages. Beautiful messages. I like this. I like this Virgo. A Virgo, ergo, a Virgo. So, ergo, the message is you're not going to accept BS this year. Anything that does not match uh, the actions that don't match the words, you know what I mean? Um, you'll be able to feel this. You'll be able to feel this. And look, all truth will be revealed. That's how that renewed hope comes in is because all truth will be revealed. You are this light. You are this light. Curtains conceal, hide behind the scenes. deep message. It's my gosh, Virgo. I feel like I have to do an extended, and I don't do extended, but probably should. These scars, wounds run deep, and what fell on the floor, it's going to be up to you. It says choosing the right path for us, but this is going to be up to you. Do you want Gaia as your partner? Um, do you want something that is undependable or not sincere? You're going to be able to see through something. Okay, so anything that was deceptive, I'm even getting the message deceptively charming. So especially something or someone who is deceptively charming, I feel like you're going to get um, uh, a one over, <laughs> a one over. I'm getting all these weird like um, phrase messages, like <laughs> have one over on somebody. Virgo, your energy of the nine of pentacles, beautiful. So the star, what else do we have? What else do we have for you? Exhaustion. Discretion. Discretion. Keep some things to yourself. Forgiveness if you want to forgive, okay? There's some things that you can accept, and there's some things you might put your foot down on, and that's going to be up to you. I mean, every story is different. 
So forgiveness says trusting yourself is often harder than trusting others. Don't worry if you get this wrong. Consequences will not be as bad as you think. Exhaustion, long and challenging as this journey is, it is worth the struggle and worth every sacrifice made along the way. All truth re will be revealed. Let's me know that if it's coming out with this discretion, there's something that we need to ask ourselves about our friends and who's in our immediate circle. Can we trust them? Um, the only reason was because of this discretion card. It says friendships are fantastic when there's equality in the relationship. Maybe it's time to undertake a quick audit of your friendships to ensure that they are reciprocal. Ensure that they are reciprocal. Oops. And that is what I've got for you, my Virgos. I hope you enjoyed your reading. Um, I will have another reading posted very soon for you all, too. Sending you love and light. Bye.